Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Welcome back to this week's topic of beginner guides and advanced guides. Anything and everything to help you guys have a little bit more fun in Tarkov. Today I am giving you five more tips I wish I knew when I started playing. Um, these are going to be combat based. Um, everything around combat. Um, last time we had some other tips as well, but this time let's... Make sure you guys win a couple more gunfights, because you need it. We're going to go over all these tips quite quickly. These are very simple, small things you can do in order to come out on top in gunfights more often. Um, and just some general knowledge in Escape from Tarkov. Right, so one thing you should really, really, really do is grab the best ammo. So as you can see, this M4, this is like the best M4 you can have. Um, just to show you guys, I would rather have like a stock M4 with a dot with M995 ammo than, let's say, uh, this M4 with the M855, even though this has a thermal and whatever. Reason why, if a geared player is coming towards you and you do not have the right type of ammunition, there is no way you're going to kill them, even if I... Let's say this was a guy, I, started, I just start loading on him like that. There's a fair chance that I need like 12 to 15 bullets to kill him. If he has a level 6 body armor and like a helmet with a face shield when I'm using 855 ammo. And he can kill me with one bullet or two bullets to the chest or head. When I was using the same armor as he is, when he's using... M995 ammo for an M4 or a Gornik ammo for an AK or M61 for a Hunter or, you know, SA-58. And it's just not worth building a very expensive weapon if you're not using the right type of ammunition. So keep that in mind at all times. That's tip number one. Tip number two is more of a gameplay tip. Let's say you are going in here. You're running like this. And you see someone coming across there, maybe a duo or whatever. And he sees you too. Let's say you run it. You see each other, you would go to the left, right? You would not have enough time. You'd be like, oh, okay, I'm going back. Normally. Or let's say you're going through here. You see him like this. And there's not really anything you can do. Because if you run here, you're going to get shot. If you run to the left, you might get an angle. So... If it's one person, obviously you might be able to just shoot him like that. But maybe you'll have to backtrack in here. Or any other situation. Let's say you are looting this box right here. And you hear someone coming there. They're already inside. You hear someone else. Here. Whatever. You are stuck. What do you do? This is... This is why I always recommend you guys bring at least two grenades. Because if you are here and you are stuck, you know he's somewhere around there, but you don't know exactly where. So you might have trouble going to the left here because he's already hard peeking you. Maybe his friend is over there. One thing you would be able to do is just throw a grenade. And then move up. So now we're mo we've moved up, right? Let's say we're here. We still don't know if he's there. But at least we only have to worry about one angle now. Because he's r still running away from the grenade, right? Then you have a chance to throw another one. And now you push up. You can flank him or whatever. At least you're outside now. And you're boxing an area off with the grenades. This is the best thing you can do with grenades. Generally just boxing off certain angles, certain areas. So I would throw one like this. Then start running. Throw another one. Start running again. Maybe take a little angle. Then you can throw another one. Not like that though. But you, you get the point. You get the point. So tip number two is always bring at least two grenades. It saved me so many times. It's not even normal. Um, what, what happens to me quite a lot here as well. Is let's say we've gone up here. I don't have the key with me. But let's say you're in there. And there's people that run inside. These windows. This one, you can't really... You can try to fit a grenade through there. 
but normally it's not going to work. But this window, you can crouch all the way over there in the corner if the door is closed. And you can throw a grenade like everywhere on this side. And if you open the door, you can hit everything in here. So if you listen out where they are, um, it, it generally increases the chance of you getting out of that situation alive. Right, so that's tip number two. Tip number three is that you should never, 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 never in your life peek the same angle twice. So let's say we're fighting down here. I run out here. I see someone there, right? I see someone walking over there by the fence. I run out. I see him and I shoot at him. And now I didn't kill him. What I see people do all the time is just going back here shooting again but if he's hard angling you with a long range scope you go out the same way he's just going to shoot you in the head so what you want to do is go over here maybe you see him then shoot a little bit and now you change your position right you change your position maybe from here shoot again you go in here he's going to think you come out on that side but you angle back and you go behind this little truck here and maybe you spray from here a little bit. Then you run through here. If you have another grenade, you can throw it at him. Wait for it to explode. And while it explodes, you run through here. You start shooting a little bit more. What I generally tend to do as well is that when I throw a grenade, I wait for it to explode to make a little push. Because these all maybe change my... Um, let's say I'm here and he is there. You throw it. Then when it explodes, then you move up a little bit. Right? Maybe they know where you are. Maybe you're stuck in here. Let's say you're running here and you hear someone coming over there. You throw a grenade when it explodes. Or here, you, th you throw it when it explodes, you prone. They don't hear you go prone. Then when they come in, you have a much better opportunity to kill them than when you're just standing here it's really hard sometimes to see someone who is prone believe it or not it kills me often so that was tip number three never go out in the same position twice never peek the same area twice okay tip number four it has to do with tip number three a lot People underestimate flanking in Tarkov for some reason. So, let's say you're fighting here and you shoot them. Sometimes it's not a bad idea. Like, you are pretty well covered. Like, this entire area, if you shoot him from here, he can only see you going through here. All this is covered. Right? So, if you move backwards through here, down here, he still can't see you still boxed off and this is where he can see you again but what you could do just lay down here then and wait listen for him see what he does maybe you hear him go down there maybe you throw a grenade it keeps him inside maybe you take a look like this and you see he's inside or whatever and it gives you the opportunity to run down here without him seeing you take position down here and you have a whole new angle and he has no clue where you are please please flank please don't stay where you are when people know where you are it gets you killed so many times especially when playing against a team it's not worth just staying there keeping an angle like this because that's tip number five as well you never know how many people there are never Never, never, never assume that there's only one player you're fighting. It will get you killed so many times. So, the difficulty with playing solo, which I do a lot, is... Let's say we get into that fight and we stay here. Who says his friend is not, like... He ran in here, but his friend was still behind the corner. And his friend's like, oh, I'm going to walk around. You keep standing here. Even if you kill him, or even if you pin him down... His friend might just walk around from this side shoot you in the back of the head so at least when you go for a flank like this you have the opportunity to box off a certain area because 
chances are if he came running from the right and goes in there, his friend's not going to be here already. And it gives you the opportunity to push up here. Obviously, you have to be careful for this area because he might be coming down there. But sitting here is already a much better overview. 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 Sorry, English, Eddie. Very nice. Of the situation than being right in the middle there. Because here, yes, someone can come from back there. But if you're there and they are coming from there, I wouldn't be too worried about that. Or you could go sit like here. Then you only have one angle, two angles, and three angles to worry about. Instead of one, you can come from down there, down there, down there, down there, down here, this entire side, and another door like straight back there. So, I hope this helps you guys win a couple more gunfights in your time. I know these tips are a little bit unstructured, but everything twines together in a gunfight so every time i tell you one thing i'll have to tell you another so it's not like a one is just strictly this except for using the best ammo that's a very simple thing you can do which will probably let you win 50 percent more gunfights at least because trust me if you are used to always running some sort of budget ammo and you start you start using the m995 or the regornik or whatever all the uh, rounds are recommended earlier then it is a huge difference. And... Maybe start investing in a weapon like this. Because I found this puppy. Killed someone on labs who had it. And uh, it's an animal. I'll do more gun builds in the future as well for you guys. I hope this helped. If you did like the video, leave a like on it. If you want to see more of my content, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching. And as always... Eddie, out.